Hi, my name is uh, Paul Westwood, and I'm lying in a hospital bed in Scotland, United Kingdom. I would like to humbly ask the Zimbabwean authorities why Timber Millis is allowed to get away with what he got away with, with me. He illegally seized my company, Nosha Motors in Bemba, on the 18th of December, 2009. I gave the courts overwhelming evidence to prove my case, yet he was acquitted. My MP has, had, has written to the previous president, Mr. Mugabe, He's written to the AU, to SADC, to the United Nations, British Parliament, the EU, British Ambassador, and the previous Ambassador in, in London or Zimbabwe, asking for okay, intervention. Okay. I'm not asking for diamonds or Ferraris, all I'm asking for is what is rightfully mine, but was wrongfully and illegally seized from me by Timba Maliswa. Honorable Maliswa severely violated my human and property rights. A precedent must be made to show the world that Zimbabwe is definitely open for business and this will never happen again. My only crime was an FDI, foreign direct investor, great employment for the amazing people of Zimbabwe. This was a racially motivated hate crime because I'm white and British and <laughs> Tampa Melissa took advantage of the Indigenization Act on the 18th of December 2009. He called in political favours from Uncle Didymus Mutasa, who was the Presidential Affairs Minister at the time, third most powerful man in Zimbabwe and ex-CIO boss. You cannot allow the judiciary to be manipulated by uh, former Presidential Affairs Ministers just because their sons and nephews are involved. What happened to me was wrong and I would like the world to know that eight years and counting I'm still waiting for justice, real proper justice through compensation from Timber Meliswa. For the record, Timber Melissa was a ZANU PF member at the time when he took over my company, illegally took over my company. He was a Provincial Affairs Chairperson for Michelin and West and very powerful. He threatened to rape my wife, kidnap my two boys and kill me. Why? What did I do wrong? Creating employment and looking after the amazing people of Zimbabwe. Is is this the future? Is this where we're going? I humbly appeal to the new president, Her Excellency, President Munangagwa. My case was never dealt with fairly in a, in a court of law. Timber Millis were bribed magistrates never Katia and Morgan Nemaderi to get acquitted. You cannot have selective application of the law. As I sit here in my hospital bed, I now have cancer. Through the stress, anxiety of what Timber Millis has done to me, I left Zimbabwe with nothing but a suitcase lost my entire investment over one million pounds. 
This is my plea. Please. Let's show the world. Let's prove to other investors Zimbabwe is open for business and this will never, ever happen again. Thank you.